Take a look. These are my essential books that I'd really like to see people spend more time with. Plutarch's Parallel Lives. You know, the stuff that happened with the Romans and the, and the Greeks and it didn't have anything to do with today, that's a lie. That's an absolute lie because some things just don't change. What courage is and uh, what uh, virtue is, uh, what moral honor is, that's what, uh, that's what that book is all about. Harriet Jacobs' Incidents in the Life of a Slave Girl, dynamite book. She talks about how the fact that she didn't even realize she was a slave. Uh, until she was uh, several years old as a young girl. It's really amazing, it's really an eye-opening book that I think a lot more people, they spent more time reading, reading that book, would have different views uh, about the past. Charles Johnson's Middle Passage, somewhere between page 100 and 115, there is, th there's a series of sentences that perfectly describes how politicians abuse people. Uh, but the book is about uh, this individual who is captured in Africa and brought to the United States, his passage over the ocean coming here and the changes in his life. Alexander Dumas, the Count of Monte Cristo, which to me is paradise in, in, in terms of literature. What do you do when you want revenge? I mean, what do you really, is revenge a good thing to really want, to, to desire? Even though you've been hurt by somebody, is it something you really want? It's a dynamite book. If you like adventure, Count of Monte Cristo. George Orwell, homage to Catalonia, which is about the Spanish Civil War. What he does is give us an understanding of the Spanish Civil War from somebody who comes in with a desire to fight the fascists, and the fascists are evil, and they've done all these bad things, and his side is the good side, until he gets there. And he finds out that in war, sometimes even these so-called good people do terrible things. But William Manchester's The Glory and the Dream, really a narrative history of the United States, and it's it's great. I mean, it tells you how much the price of bread was in 1938. If you like history and you like uh, 20th century history, that's your book. Uh, Jose Ortega y Gasset, uh, his book, The Revolt of the Message. Is there such a thing as tyranny of the majority? Anybody who talks about, well, the majority should always rule, rules, it only needs to read that book because uh, sometimes the majority doesn't really get it right or isn't thinking about the right thing. You read all of those and you will come away enlightened. I guarantee it.